Tarya Soile Susanna Turin and Cabuli, known professionally as Tarya Turin and or simply Tarya, is a Finnish heavy metal singer songwriter. She is a soprano with a three and a half octave range. Turinen studied singing at Sibelius Academy and Hochschule for Musik Karlsruhe. She is a professional classical lied singer, and the former lead vocalist of the Finnish symphonic metal band Nightwish, which she founded with Tuomas Holopainen and Pu Vorinen in 1996. Their combination of hard and fast guitar riffs with Turinen's dramatic, operatic lead vocals quickly achieved critical and commercial popularity. Their symphonic metal style, soon dubbed opera metal, inspired many other metal bands and performers. Turinen was dismissed from the band on October 21, 2005 for personal reasons. She started her solo career in 2006 with the release of a Christmas album called Henke Zykuijudista. In 2007, Turinen released My Winter Storm, an album featuring various styles including symphonic metal, and started the Storm World Tour. She performed several concerts in Europe, playing in metal festivals including the Grasspop Metal Meeting and the Wacken Open Air, before releasing her third album, What Lies Beneath, supported by a tour, which lasted until April 2012. Her first live DVD Act 1 was filmed during this tour on 30 and March 31, 2012 in Rosario, Argentina. Act I was released in August 2012. Turinen started the Colors in the Dark World Tour in October 2013 to promote her new album Colors in the Dark. Her second live DVD was filmed during the events of Beauty and the Beat and was released in May. In September 2015, Tarja Turinen released her first classical studio album, Ave Maria, on Plan Air. In August 2016 she released The Shadow Self with a prequel EP The Brightest Void released on 3rd of June. Her latest album in the raw, was released on August 30, 2019. Tarja Turinen was born in the small village of Pohos, near Kite, Finland. She has an older brother, Timo, and a younger brother, Tony. Her mother Ritva Sisko Marjata worked in the town administration, and her father Tuvo Turinen is a carpenter. Her talent for music was first noted when she sang the song in Kaylee Taivon in the Kite Church Hall at age 3. She joined the church choir and started taking vocal lessons. At age 6, she started playing piano. At comprehensive school, Turinen performed as a singer for several projects. Her first piano teacher Kirsti Norsha Holopainen, Tarja was in a school that had some very musical people. Even then she got to perform a lot. I think she sang in every school function there was. Her music teacher, Plamandimov, later explained that, if you gave Tarja just one note. She immediately got it. With the others, you'd have to practice three, four, five times. At school she had a tough time, since some girls bullied her because they envied her voice. To solve that problem, Dimov organized projects outside school. At 15, Turinen had her first major appearance as a soloist at a church concert in front of a thousand listeners. In 1993 she attended the Senior Secondary School of Art and Music in Savonlina. For several years Turinen performed various songs including soul music by Whitney Houston and Aretha Franklin. Later she listened to songs from the classical crossover singer Sarah Brightman, especially the song The Phantom of the Opera, and decided to focus on that genre of music. At 18, she moved to Coapio to study at the Sibelius Academy. Turinen with Nightwish at the Himos Festival in Jamza, Finland, on June 25, 2005 in December 1996, former classmate Tuomas Holopainen invited Turinen to join his new acoustic mood music project, and she immediately agreed. At the recording session for the first demo Holopainen discovered that due to her classical singing lessons, Turinen's voice had become much more powerful than he recalled from their school days. At the following band practices, Impu Vorinen used an electric guitar instead of an acoustic guitar because he felt that it gave a better accompaniment to her voice. Holopainen later explained that the band members had gradually realized that Turinen's voice had become too dramatic for acoustic mood music and eventually came to the conclusion that the music had to be massive too. Hence Holopainen decided to form Nightwish as a metal band. Nightwish recorded a second demo with more bombastic, dramatic songs in September 1997. Holopainen used this material to convince the Finnish label Spine Farm Records to publish the band's debut album, Angels Fall First. The success of the first album came as a surprise to the label. As the album hit the top 40 of the Finnish charts, Nightwish started their tour the first tour of the Angels. That same year, Turinen performed at the Savonlina Opera Festival for the first time, singing songs from Wagner and Verdi. Turinen with Nightwish in Kite, Finland, on May 22, 2004 due to her commitment to the band, Turinen was not able to concentrate sufficiently on her schoolwork and her academic studies were interrupted. 
In 1998, Nightwish published their second album, Ocean Born. This album lacked the earlier elements of folk and ambient music, and instead focused on fast, melodic keyboard and guitar lines and Turinen's dramatic voice. In addition to the Ocean Born Europe tour, Turinen sang solo in Walteri's rock-themed ballet Evangeliumi in several sold-out performances at the Finnish National Opera. In 2000 and 2001, Nightwish recorded Wishmaster and Over the Hills and Far Away and toured Europe and South America. During the Wishmaster World Tour, Turinen met Argentine businessman Marcelo Cabuli whom she married in 2003. Turinen enrolled in 2000 at the German Music University Hochschule for Musik Karlsruhe to gain a professional qualification as a soloist with further specialization in art song. In addition to the good reputation of the university, Turinen chose to go to Karlsruhe because some people at the Finnish university did not take her seriously as a classical singer due to her commitment in a metal band. While there, she recorded vocals for Nightwish's 2002 album Century Child and for Beto Vasquez Infinity. As with the other albums, Holopinen wrote the pieces and sent Turin and the lyrics and a demo recording of the pre-recorded instrumental tracks by mail. Using the demo, Turinen designed her vocal lines and the choral passages. In 2002, Turinen toured South America, performing in the classical Lied concert Noche Escandinava to sold-out houses. Following this and an exhausting world tour in support of Century Child, Nightwish took a hiatus and Turinen returned to Karlsruhe to finish her studies. After the hiatus Nightwish recorded the album once, it was released in May 2004. The album has sold platinum in Finland and Germany and was the best-selling album in all of Europe in July 2004. The band performed in the supporting Once Upon a Tour throughout 2004 and 2005. For Christmas 2004, Turinen released her first solo single, titled In Enkel and Anelma, which sold gold in her native country of Finland. At Christmas 2005 it made a re-entry at position 1 in the Finnish charts. In spring 2005 she prepared the duet Leaving You For Me, a collaboration with Martin Kasich, accompanied by a video. Turinen lived during a Christmas concert in Lodi, Finland, on December 12, 2006 The first change in the lineup of Nightwish was in September 2001, when bassist Sami Venska was fired because Holopinen was no longer able to continue working with him. In the following years the relationship between Holopinen and Turinen's husband and manager Marcelo Cabuli deteriorated. This affected the relationship between Holopinen and Turinen as well. At a band meeting after the concert in Oberhausen in December 2004 Turinen informed the band members that she wanted to leave the band, but agreed to record one more album and to participate in the subsequent tour, planned for 2006-2007. According to her husband, Turinen had further agreed not to make her decision public and to release her first solo album after the new studio album from Nightwish. After the last concert of the Once Upon a Tour on October 21, 2005, Holopinen and the other band members informed Turinen in an open letter that the band did not want to work with her anymore. Accusing her of diva-like behavior and greed, To you, unfortunately, business, money, and things that have nothing to do with those emotions have become much more important. The split end, due to the open letters allegations, Turinen's character became the subject of close media coverage. Turinen responded through an open letter on her website and through some interviews in which she explained her view. She was upset that after nine years of working together, Holopinen announced the separation via an open letter. Because of the continuing media interest, Marcelo Cabuli posted a message addressing the situation on the website in February 2006. He asked that anyone who had questions should email him. In June 2006, Cabuli posted a lengthy reply to many of the questions he had received. He answered questions related to the greed accusation by explaining that the band had agreed on the distribution of earnings in a contract at the formation of Nightwish. Based on that contract, every band member got a fixed share of 20% of the band's income. Marcelo Cabuli stated that, unlike others, Turinen had never fought for additional songwriter royalties. For sure in her case, money is not coming first in her book of life. If we would check which band member earns a lot more money than any other one in the band, you should be surprised. Marcelo Cabuli despite the circumstances of the separation, Holopinen's appreciation of Turinen as an artist remained. He explained that he did not search for a similarly trained singer as a successor for Turinen because he considers her to be extraordinarily good in her genre and therefore irreplaceable. Turinen said in an interview that she is very proud of her career with Nightwish. She considers the remaining band members extremely talented and wishes all the best for them and their subsequent lead singer Annette Olsen. At the end of 2005, 
Turinen performs several classical concerts in Finland, Germany, Spain, and Romania. Since she expected to participate in another Nightwish album, several concerts and the release of her Christmas album Henke's Ikuijudista were the only activities scheduled for 2006. Turinen again played at the Savonlina Opera Festival in July 2006, this time as the main act, she sang alongside Finnish tenor Remo Serkia, supported by the Kuopio Symphonic Orchestra. Turinen performed classical arias like O Mio Babino Caro by Puccini, Libiamo Nilietti Calici by Verdi and some songs from Andrew Lloyd Webber, Don't Cry For Me Argentina and Phantom of the Opera among other songs. In November she performed at the charity concert Tomorrow's Child with the Tapiola Choir as a benefit for the UNICEF Children's Fund. On December 6, 2006, Turinen performed a big concert at the Sibelius Hall in Lodi, Finland, it was broadcast live by the Finnish channel at Ula TV2 for 450,000 viewers. She was nominated for the Finnish Emma Award as Best Soloist of 2006. The following year, Turinen recorded vocals for the track in the picture on the Nuclear Blast All-Stars album Into the Light. In August 2006 she started to work on her next solo album, My Winter Storm, the beginning of her main solo project. It was the first time that Turinen had written songs. She was supported by some professional songwriters. The choir and orchestral arrangements were written by film music composer James Dooley. Turinen released My Winter Storm, an album featuring various styles, including symphonic metal with classical operatic lead vocals, in November 2007. The album took the number one spot on the Finnish charts, and went platinum in Finland double platinum in Russia and gold in Germany. Turinen live in Kavarna, Bulgaria, July 23, 2010 She was nominated for an Echo as Best Newcomer and an Emma for Best Finnish Artist. On November 25, 2007, Turinen embarked on the Storm World Tour to promote My Winter Storm. She performed 95 concerts throughout Europe, North and South America and ended the tour in October 2009 at the O2 Academy Islington in London. In December 2008, the EP The Seer was released in the UK and the new extended edition of My Winter Storm released in January 2009. She also contributed three songs to the Finnish charity Christmas album Mileman Kane Majulula Ulu, released in November 2009. In December 2009 she recorded her vocal part for the song The Good Die Young, a duet with Klaus Mina which is included on the final Scorpions album Sting in the Tale. Turinen recorded her third album, What Lies Beneath, in 2009 and 2010, it was released in September 2010. The album combined metal with classical operatic elements in an out-of-the-box approach. She started the What Lies Beneath World Tour performing in several festivals, including the Wacken Open Air and the Grasspop Metal Meeting. With special concerts at Mischgold's Opera Festival and at the Masters of Rock, when she performed accompanied by a full orchestra. The tour is scheduled to last until April 2012. Also in 2010 she supported Alice Cooper on the German leg of his Theatre of Death tour. On July 17, 2011, she sang again at the Savonlina Opera Festival along with José Cura and accompanied by the Kuopio Symphony Orchestra. Turinen with her support band at the Wacken Open Air, August 6, 2010 and March 2012, Turinen won the title Europe's Best Crossover Performer with over 100,000 votes. In May 2013, Turinen announced the title of her fourth solo album, Colors in the Dark, which was released on 30th of August. On 31st of May the song Never Enough was released as a teaser. Later this year, in September, it was revealed that Turinen would appear as guest vocalist on the title track and video of Within Temptations EP Paradise, released on 27th of September. In January 2014, Turinen revealed through her blog that she would soon return to the studio and record vocals for a couple of songs for her Outlanders project together with Torsten Stenzel and Walter Giardino. In May 2014, it was released the DVD Beauty and the Beat, providing live footage from three concerts as part of the Beauty and the Beat World Tour. The DVD shows Tarja performing live with a symphonic orchestra, choir and Mike Torena on drums. Songs include Antonin Dvorak's Song to the Moon from Rusalka and Led Zeppelin's Kashmir, and also a live version of the rarely performed song Swan Heart from the 1998 Nightwish album Ocean Born. On the same year, in July, Left in the Dark was released as an EP containing alternative versions from Tarja's album Colors in the Dark, as well as a studio version of Into the Sun. On October 17, 2015, Tarja performed two new songs from her forthcoming album, No Bitter End and Goldfinger, which is a cover of the title song of the James Bond film with the same name. Tarja announced she is to release a new album in the summer of 2016. 
She explains that she has been working hard once again with Tim Palmer to create the heaviest sound so far of her career for her fourth rock album. She also explained that the album will follow in the same footsteps as her other albums but with a new soul and growth. A teaser with a snippet of two songs was then released on her official YouTube channel. On February 17, 2016, Tarya also revealed the first letter of the album name to BT. On March 14, 2016, Tarya made public title and cover of her new album, The Shadow Self. On April 7, Tarya announced the release, scheduled for June 3, of The Brightest Void, the prequel of The Shadow Self. The Brightest Void contains the song No Bitter End. Also included in The Shadow Self, the duet with Within Temptation Paradise and several covers. The Shadow Self was released on August 5, 2016. The lead single was the track Innocence. On November 17, 2017, Tarya released From Spirits and Ghosts, her second classical and Christmas album. With the album release comes also Tarya Turinen's first graphic novel, From Spirits and Ghosts. The 40-page novel is about the world of dark Christmas scripted by Peter Rogers with accompanying art by Connor Boyle. On July 27, 2018, Parya released Act 2, a live album and DVD recorded during the concert on November 29, 2016, at the Teatro della Luna in Milan, during the world tour The Shadow Shows. On August 30, 2019, Tarya released In the Raw. For this album Tarya Turin and joined forces with other heavy metal vocalists such as Bjorn Street, Tommy Karavik, and Christina Scabia, thus including in the album vocal collaborations with them. On June 19, 2021, Tarya announced that she will be releasing a book in 2021, Singing in My Blood in which the book will share the story of her life in music. Along with visiting the music school in Savonlina, Turin began serious classical vocal training at 17. After school, she began studying music at the Sibelius Academy. Due to her commitment with Nightwish, she had to interrupt her academic studies. From 2001 to 2003, she studied at the Music Academy Hochschule of Four Musik Karlsruhe, where she trained as a soloist with further specialization in art songs. Turinen originally applied to train as a choir singer. At the audition she attracted the attention of Professor Mitsuko Shirai, who encouraged Turinen to apply for soloist training. As a classical singer, Turinen sings with classical vocal technique. She explained that in the early days of Nightwish, it was difficult to combine classical technique with the metal sound in a way that gave her liberty of action without damaging her vocal cords. Classical techniques helped her to play with her voice, so she decided not to pursue extra training in rock-slash-pop singing. Towards the turn of the millennium, the combination of hard and fast guitar riffs with classical female lead vocals attracted a great deal of attention in the metal scene. The new music style of Nightwish quickly achieved critical and commercial popularity. This symphonic metal style was soon dubbed opera metal. Tornan does not see herself as an opera singer. She has sung excerpts from operas at the Savonlina Opera Festival but she stresses that singing opera cannot be performed as a side project. She would need special training to perfectly sing an entire opera without a microphone. When asked how the association between the opera and metal genres may have arisen, Turinen said that despite the obvious differences, the two music styles have some similarities, the scenes are very similar. There are many people who would never go to an opera and the same goes for metal. But the real fans are incredibly loyal. And both styles are bombastic and express strong emotions. Tarja Turinen, Metal Hammer Interview, July 2002 from the first Nightwish album Angels Fall First On, critics described Turinen's vocals using adjectives such as angelic or Valkyrian. The Valkyrie image was later fostered by the second video for the single Sleeping Sun in which Turinen walks on a battlefield as if she were guiding the Dead Warriors. Turinen at the International Book Fair in Buenos Aires, Argentina, May 3, 2007 on the following albums the singing was technically more complex. On the Nightwish album Oceanborn, her classical vocal training was much more noticeable. For the song Passion and the Opera, Turinen performed a staccato coloratura reminiscent of the aria Hell's Vengeance Boils in My Heart, sung by the soprano role Queen of the Night in Mozart's opera The Magic Flute. Sleeping Sun required a well-trained breathing technique. Turinen explained in an interview that when they recorded Oceanborn, she had serious doubts, fearing that she was not yet advanced enough in her studies to have mastered the required techniques. A challenge of a different kind was the cover version of Gary Moore's Over the Hills and Far Away, as it required a deeper voice, far below the vocal range of an average soprano. In an interview with Breakout magazine, she reported that in the studio, the band members were shaken by a paroxysm of laughter as she tried to warm up for the vocal lines. As a side benefit of her efforts, 
Turinen gradually expanded her vocal range considerably into the lower range, which manifested even more on the following albums. For the album Century Child, she experimented with a more rock-sounding voice, where she maintained the classical singing technique, but, for example, sang with less vibrato. Turinen was not satisfied that she had successfully transitioned to this new style until the album once. I feel very comfortable with once because I have tried to change my singing style with Nightwish already since Century Child because Tuomas requested that. The songs requested that, it has been hard work and I didn't manage to do that on Century Child, I was not very happy with it. On once it's all very natural, how I'm singing and what I'm singing. But as I said, it has been really hard work because I've been a classical singer for the last 10 years so it was hard to start over again and think of different styles. Of course I'm always singing with my classical techniques, I never sing with my poor speaking voice, I cannot do that anymore. Tarya Turinen, Metal Temple Interview, October 2004 This deeper rock sounding voice on once, as well as on the song in the picture of the album Into the Light, was welcomed by critics as a refreshing change. Her first solo album My Winter Storm contains rock and metal songs as well as songs that resemble classical songs. Turinen uses both her classical singing voice and a rock sounding voice. In many songs she starts with a rock voice, and then switches for widely arching melodies into a distinctly classical singing voice. Tarya's classically trained voice flies bravely over orchestral sounds and brute guitars. Like a phoenix from the ashes, she lifts up again and again for widely arching melodies, sometimes spurred on by multi-voiced female choirs. Frank Rauscher, Telly Scow, Der Medienendienst, review of My Winter Storm in an interview, she explained that My Winter Storm was the first album where she had the chance to use her full vocal range. Now that I can use the whole range of my voice, it feels very nice. I have never sung so low as I did on one of the songs on the new record and there's a song on which I sang my highest notes ever. I really have used a huge range on this album, because the moods are changing in every song and this reflects that. Tarja Turinen, Kerrang! Interview, September 2007 in the album Colors in the Dark she used her speaking voice for the first time in many years. Vocal range on my winter storm Turinen's voice type is soprano. Over the course of her career, Turinen has developed a vocal range of three octaves. Her range is apparent on her album My Winter Storm, where the lowest note sung is F3 in the song The Seer, while in another song, she aimed for D6. I sang a repertoire of a mezzo-soprano for many years and because of that, still today, I have rarely quite low register for a lyrical soprano. Nowadays, I see myself as a light lyrical soprano. Tarja Turinen, blog entry for March 1, 2009 Turinen live in Buenos Aires, Argentina, May 26, 2009 Turinen's voice is described by critics as remarkably powerful and emotional. Sometimes it is stated that her voice is too trained or operatic for metal music, but even critics who do not like classical voices admit that her voice suits the kind of metal song she sings unusually well. Until the end of their collaboration, Turinen's singing was a trademark of Nightwish. She was known as the face and voice of Nightwish while bandleader Holopinen was the soul. Turinen was seen as a key to Nightwish's success. She is respected by other musicians of the metal genre and is an influence on their work, for instance, Simone Simons of Epica names her as her inspiration to study classical music and apply that vocal style to a metal band. Turinen receives most of her media attention in Europe, especially in her home of Finland. In December 2003, she was invited by Finnish President Tarja Halonen to celebrate Finnish Independence Day at the Presidential Palace together with other Finnish celebrities. The event is televised annually live by the state-owned broadcaster, the Finnish Broadcasting Company. In December 2007, she performed different versions of the Finnish national anthem Mom accompanied by the Tapiola Sinfonietta, to celebrate the 90th anniversary of Finnish independence. The concert was televised by the Finnish Broadcasting Company for 2 million Finnish viewers. In December 2013, Turinen was the invited soloist at the Christmas Peace event in the Turku Cathedral, Finland, with the presence of Finnish President Sally Niinistö. The concert aired on Ula TV1 at the Christmas Eve. During her solo career, Turinen has sold over 100,000 certified records in Finland, which places her among the top 50 of best-selling female soloists. In Europe, her popularity is mainly limited to the hard rock and metal scene. She had a broader exposure on November 30, 2007, when she was invited to open the farewell fight of Regina Halmick. Her performance of I Walk Alone was televised live by the German television station ZDF for 8. 8 million viewers. 
Turunen was one of the star coaches in the fourth season of The Voice of Finland in the spring of 2015 on Nelanen. After the success of the 2015 edition of The Voice of Finland, Tarja was again chosen to be one of the star coaches for the 2016 edition. In 2016 in honour of the Day of the Finnish Identity, celebrated on May 12, Finland published a new set of official emojis, which symbolises Finnish culture and history. Among other iconic Finnish imagery there were music-related emojis. Including Tarja Turunen as the voice. Turunen married Argentine businessman Marcelo Cabuli on December 31, 2002. Their wedding was celebrated in July 2003. They lived in Buenos Aires with their daughter who was born in 2012. In an interview Tarja explained that in 2016 they had plans to move back to Europe due to her touring schedule and that their daughter was starting school in the coming year. She currently lives in the south of Spain. In October 2021, she revealed that she had a stroke three years earlier after a US tour. Studio albums, live albums. Thanks for watching.